I am currently somewhere in the middle of South Korea, and I'm about to spend the next 48 hours locked in prison. But not because I committed any kind of crime. In fact, none of the inmates here are criminals. This is a prison in South Korea where locals, non-criminals, pay to get voluntarily locked in a cell. One room, no technology, no possessions, and no distractions, as a form of forced isolation from the rest of the world. I am not becoming crazy. I could ring the alarm and just leave. leave. I am not becoming crazy. There is very little information online about this unique place. And as nobody has ever done a story about it on YouTube before, we were so curious to investigate what this unusual form of rehabilitation all right. no is worries. all about. Hey, what, what, why does he? Why does he go? So this is like a spiritual exercise for him. For him, yes. Fun is maybe not how I was picturing it, but uh, could be uh, enlightening. The solitude, maybe. I mean, it seems kind of popular. Like there's like eight of us going right now. We had originally only planned to stay one night in the prison. However, Jay thought it could be fun to double our prison sentence. Do you guys want to do uh, one more night? If you really want to, want to, want to. <laughs> you guys actually can. Should we double it? I'm kind of scared to double it. 24 hours felt like, oh, we can do it. Tomorrow we're out. But now two days, 48 hours, no mobile, locked in a cell. Sounds crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that scares me, but let's do it. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> Is the yes? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to prison. Let's go. Let's go to let's prison. Go. <laughs> His <laughs> voice is really sad. <laughs> what did mom say? Hope you meet Jesus in prison. Oh, cool. But that's uh, that's beautiful. <laughs> the last time you were two days without your phone. <laughs> Good question. I can't remember, man. Twelve years ago, and I don't think I spent two full days without it since. Isn't that crazy? Let's go to prison. Founded in 2013 by an overworked Korean prosecutor working over 100 hours a week, Kwon Yong Suk devised an extreme solution to the very real human problem of burnout. A prison, forcing you to disconnect from the duties that the world expects from you and reconnect with yourself away from all distractions. Somehow this prison is meant to be a form of rehab for workaholics and people who are simply overworked. Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you. Hello. We're changing into our uniform for the next two days. Let's see how this goes. Let's go. <laughs> I'm very nervous though. Um, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> 213. Oh, this is it. Holy sh**. This is smaller than I thought. Where? Where's the bed? There's no bed. Oh. There's a blanket. Okay, perfect. Stuff on. Yeah, man. Did you see how small? It's super small, man. Also, there's, there's no bed. I, I said the same. <laughs> this is the blanket, this is the mattress. <laughs> I have to sleep like this. This is gonna be awful. <laughs> <laughs> I might go crazy in here, you know that. What do you think the hardest part will be? Yeah, definitely leaving my cell phone. Even music. Yeah. Oh, man, I didn't think about that. Yeah. I'm leaving my music as well. Yeah. Wow. Here we go. I'll see you on the other side. See you on the other side. The journey is about to begin. They're gonna ring the dong and then they're gonna come lock the door. Okay, this is soon going to start. It's begun. I still have my phone. I'm gonna turn it off for the next 48 hours. Bye to my phone. I'm ready. Strange feeling giving away my phone. How a phone is like a band-aid. So if I feel any uncomfortable feeling in my body, I can easily check my phone. So it's like a false band-aid. And let's see what kind of things that will come when I can't distract myself now with a mobile. Okay, I'm not kidding. I just stopped recording. And then I was thinking, where's my phone? <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Yeah, okay, I'm mobile addicted, I admit. I'm locked in this little room for the next two days. This is 
is it, huh? To understand why this prison exists, we have to understand Koreans. The hyper-modernized Korean nation we know today is not the Korea that once was. In 1945, Korea came out of 35 years of Japanese colonial rule, and just a few years later, broke out into the Korean War. In 1953, having sunk deep into poverty after the wars and occupations, there was an intense countrywide effort and motivation in the culture to lift themselves out of poverty and become an industrialized modern nation. And they did, but that came at a cost. Through some of the toughest work weeks one can imagine, setting a whole new meeting to overworked. Many clocking 100 hour work weeks leading Koreans to being considered some of the hardest working people on the planet. Which explains how we got to this. A prison to lock yourself away and find some peace. Damn, as soon as the door closed, my body just shut down. It just immediately tapped into the rest that it was craving. Oh, good morning. Then I've been sleeping like for three hours or so. My body used to shut down and went into... <laughs> this is basically the extent to the activities that we have to our disposal. Cup of tea, some reflection. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy the last bit of sunlight we have going. I did like half an hour writing session and I feel like I'm coming into like a more reflective mode and getting there step by step, but now it's time to eat food. Another aspect about the prison we hadn't anticipated and totally underestimated was the lack of clocks. We had no real way of knowing what time it was or how much time had passed. The only measurements of time we had were the sunlight and our three meals a day. Looks like they're bringing dinner. Which came at 8 a.m., noon, and 6 p.m. Dinner's served. Let's see what we got. We have some sweet potato, some tomatoes, clementine, and a rice cake, as well as a shake. Bon appétit. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. While I'm eating, I'm gonna practice less is more. But in the moment, don't chase the food, don't eat fast, don't run to next thing, Stefan. <laughs> Hello friends, checking in from outside of the prison cell. And before we get into day two, the much more challenging day for us, I'd like to quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Stefan and I had the privilege of time in this experience to look within ourselves. It gave us a newfound appreciation for stillness and calmness in our lives that we so seldom have in our day-to-day -day normal lives. But the good thing is you don't have to get locked in a Korean prison to find the peace we found. Whether or not you have a clinical mental health condition or whether you are simply going through a challenging time, therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a very different way. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist significantly easier because it's online and by simply filling out a few questions. BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist within a few days. And the best part is that if your current therapist does not feel like the right fit for you, you can easily switch to a new one at no additional cost. As Stefan said, many of us like to help others, but few of us are actually good at asking for help. So to ask for help and get matched with a therapist, go to betterhelp.com slash yes theory and start your journey within. Clicking the link is not only the first step in asking for help, but it also gives you 10% off your first month. All right, now back to the video. That means it's 6 a.m. I did not sleep very good on this floor mat. Korean instant coffee. 
in about 10 minutes, we have bowing and meditation practice beginning. There's 108 bows. The first one is bow while thinking of these. One, where am I coming from and where am I going? So this is gonna be playing for probably like an hour. With the manual how to do a bow. Fifth bow, knowing that patience is what makes me peaceful. I make the 72nd bow to friends who are walking on the road together, laughing and crying together. What a bad way to start the morning. There are two ways to live life. Living life as if nothing is a miracle and living life as everything is a miracle. Albert Einstein. It's a strange feeling of waking up and not having anything to rush to. The body is telling me to do next thing, etc, etc, etc. Time for some breakfast. Maybe pumpkin, I'm not sure. And some fruits and pickled veggies. Let's dig in. Okay, I used to spill some water from my... Yeah, from this one here. It created literally a heart. Can you see it? That's what I meant yesterday, that I, I look for heart and I try to find heart. And I'm thinking about the quote I read this morning as well. Either you see nothing as a miracle or everything as a miracle. It's back to my room. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. And we have to remember when I don't speak to you, it goes like hours of silence. I'll probably go back in silence for another couple of hours. See you later. Pretty big lunch. But now let's get some food and then see what our afternoon will have in store for us. I wonder how Stefan is doing. I don't know if he's enjoying this or dreading it. I could see it go both ways. Excuse me, what time is it? I don't know what time it is. Could be two, could be four. I don't know. Oh, I just woke up from another power nap. I don't know if I slept for 15 minutes or two hours. I have no idea, or three hours. I'm seeing stars. I've been here so many freaking hours. Dude, perfect. Ah. Yeah, I can't believe you made that. I'm stuck in here. If anyone can hear me and hear this message, please come and save me. I'm Stefan Taylor, 214. Please come and save me in South Korea. I'm in a prison. I'm in a prison. I'm on day two. I'm on day two out of three days. Out of three, please come and save me. Who are you talking? exciting part of my day is guessing what they're up to out there. What are they up to? Huh? Where are you guys really going? Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? I could ring the alarm and just leave. leave. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Maybe I should work out actually. Oof. Time to get you. Everybody come kung fu fighting. I've been spending the last hour or so reflecting on my life. There's an interesting exercise that I would invite anyone who's watching to do, just to write a judgment, a midterm trial of 
the life that you've lived thus far. Look back at your life from the standpoint of a prosecutor, defend yourself from the lawyer's point of view, and then from the judge's point of view, judge your own life. So three stages. And I'm realizing that a lot of the time I feel like I need to have it all figured out. And I'm realizing that that's made me more stiff as a human. I feel it's made me afraid to surrender, to be present, to not get upset when mistakes or problems do arise. Many lessons, a lot of gratitude, and uh, what a strange place to have this time to reflect. When I met Tommy and Thomas on the street of Sweden, freaking best day of my life. Changed my life so much. I was struggling so much before. I was more struggling trying to find my tribe. Not even trying to find my tribe, I didn't know a tribe like that existed. The supportive culture in that way. But I was doing my thing in Sweden, public speaking, being a professional dreamer. He's supporting, 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 supporting. But I didn't know and didn't realize that I needed all that support myself. I was just giving it a lot to other people. So if you're a person listening now, who are getting given to other people. Maybe you're like me, that we need to also get help from others. I'm bored, I've worked out, I've meditated, I've reflected, I've journaled, bowed, eaten, thrown paper planes into a trash can. I'm gonna try and make contact with Stefan. Stefan, 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 can you hear me? He's not hearing me. Stefan, look out. <laughs> hey bro. What's up? I miss you too, bro. It's been like two days. What have you been doing today? I don't know when I woke up. I woke up at some time. Then I've been like meditating, reflecting. I think it's like 4 p.m. I have no idea actually. <laughs> to see your head like this, it's made my day. We should probably return before the guards come in, but I have an escape plan. Next time he brings the food, grab his hand, put it in an arm lock, and make him open the door. I'll do that. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> ah, that was fun. That was the cutest thing ever. Back to my prison cell. That means we have about somewhere close to 15 hours left to go. Mm, that's a long time. That is a long time. <sighs> Hey, dude, perfect. And you're auditioning for another member. I'm the guy. Good night. I have no idea what time it is, but my body is ready to sleep. And now, time to pass out. Day three. This is the bowing. Meditation. And I'm not quite ready for it. <laughs> morning, good morning. Even though it's been a struggle to not find my phone, I can feel now on day three, it feels much more empty in my brain. It feels like I can hear my own thoughts and feelings again. <sighs> I'm ready for some fresh air. We genuinely would never have predicted that our time in this prison would turn out spiritual in any sense. But it did. Having also spent 24 hours in complete darkness isolation, I've learned that these programs are ultimately designed to gain clarity over our own relationship with ourselves. Something I believe every single human, no matter how experienced with meditation, would benefit from. How often do we really, if ever, slow down to prioritize that? Final few hours of this experience. Yeah, I'm gonna do a last moment of meditation and um, intention or how I would like to reintegrate into the world. I've been alone for two days and the thought of turning on my phone right now is scary. Makes me think, you know, I don't think our ancestors' minds were used to the amount of information that we're exposed to on a daily basis through our cell phone. I think it's not a surprise that there is so many people struggling with their mental health right now. I learned from this experience that the baseline anxiety we feel in society is definitely exacerbated through the problematic relationship with our phones. I was reminded that no amount of wisdom through experience can be gathered without intentional time for reflection following that experience. And ultimately, that it is so easy to take life for granted. 
to take loved ones for granted and to look at life as a glass half empty rather than half full. Until you just unlock it. Does that mean it's over? One of best experience. Really? Second day was very challenging. Thank you so much for your kindness. It was always sweet to come see your smile. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous smile. <actually>. Yeah. <laughs> Are we allowed to leave? <laughs> yes. Yeah. First step in freedom. Woo! I spent more time in a prison than spending time with you, but uh, <laughs> I kept remembering at random times. Oh yeah, Jay is here too. <laughs> Freedom! <sighs> Deep breath in. Freedom! And a new sense of freedom of present is taking place. Yeah. That I feel that I had when I was younger, but I lost it along the way. Mm. And I feel mm. that I'm living as a new man. Yeah, oh. <laughs> well done. Oh, well, well done. done. Thank you. <laughs> freedom! <laughs> <laughs> The family who built this prison alongside other programs like theater and improv are really operating from the heart. They are driven by their late husband and father's mission to bring happiness to the world, hence their company name, Happiness Factory. I think the only reason why uh, we are here in this planet to be a better person mm. is the second one is to make our whole world a little bit better place to uh, achieve that to goals. Thank you. <laughs> if I leave you with anything from this video, I hope that it is that you take some time to reflect. Prioritize some time alone in the next coming days and just give yourself space to check in on where you've been, where you are, and where you're going. I promise it will not feel like a waste of time and I wish you a peaceful reflection.